So we've marched through an ascending binary search through an integer array looking for a target. And then for the first time this week, we reverse those numbers in the descending order. Okay, and that was the previous video. Now we're gonna go back to ascending. So alphabetical order of strings. Looking for a string target in a string array. And it's the same logic as in the first method, the ascending int array. So I'm going to steal that code, copy it, put it down here in my third method. Binary search ascending going through a string array. By the way, when you have all these methods here with the same name, that's not called overriding. Remember, overriding is methods, the same name in different classes. Overloading is all these methods, the same name in the same class. This is an example of overloading. Okay. So I've got binary search ascending and binary search ascending down here also. Same name, right? Those two methods, that's called overloading. That's been a quiz question before for you. Likewise, I've got binary search descending with an int array and binary search descending with a string array. That's overloading again. So I copy and paste this code and it's all the same logic. The only thing different is equals equals does not work on strings, right? And this less than operator does not work on strings. Now, I think everyone here knows what to replace equals equals with. Dot equals. I'll put target in the parentheses. We do that every week there, I say in this class. Okay, the other one, replacing less than. We don't do this quite as often, but this is on our quick reference on May 12th, right? It was in your hands on this past Monday's quiz. In that string section was the compare to method. The AP exam is going to test us on the compare to method on May 12th. So, to change less than. To make it work with compare to, go dot compare to, parentheses target, and if the first string is less than the second string, that is, if the first string comes in the dictionary before the second string does, we say less than zero. It'll be a negative number. And that, I think, is it. Did I skip something? Let's see, compile, run it. 11, two and minus one, is that right? Let's see the WX, yeah, 11 looks right. The EF, position two is good. And XX is not there, that's a minus one. Oh my. Almost too easy, right? Never, right? Never. <laughs> and so how will I do the other one? The uh, binary search descending with strings? What will I do? I'm going to go up there to binary search descending with interrays. Use that same logic with slightly different syntax. Right? The syntax for string equality is not equals equals, it's dot equals. The syntax for less than with strings is not the less than operator, it's dot compared to something less than zero. OK, 
Okay, so it's so cool to have a chance to review compared to, because it really didn't come up that much in a lot of algorithms. It doesn't come up very often, but it is on our quick reference. We do have to know it. So I got 1, 10, and 11. The WX is in position 1. That's good. The EF, yeah, looks like 10. And the XX is not there, position minus 1. Okay. So it sounds like a lot of new stuff today, but boy, wouldn't we tweak a couple lines from the original binary search for each one. That's all we tweaked.